Hi, my name is Rob Evans, Delivery Technology Specialist here at Arrowhead Lexus, and today I'll be showing my customer a few new features on their vehicle, on their 2016 uh, Lexus RX 350. Uh, we're going to be going over Bluetooth, audio technology, as well as navigation today. We've already highlighted a couple of other things they might want to go over as well, and a couple of things they might want to follow up on, as well as some owner benefits as well. Congratulations again on your 2016 RX. Uh, looks like today on the app you selected that you want to go over some Bluetooth, audio technology, and some navigation. And uh, here's a complimentary water on the Thank house you. as well. Um, I just want the steering wheel first before I hop in the other side to guide you through um, the system. Uh, these are a couple buttons right here on the left hand side of the steering wheel that you're going to be wanting to use with those three things. Uh, volume is going to be the plus and the minus, whether it's uh, radio, media, or a phone call. Um, up and down arrows once we set your radio presets. You can use these to close as well as going through um, tracks or different songs inside your Bluetooth audio. Mode will change it between your AM FM satellite as well as your Bluetooth CD player, uh, auxiliary, any USB devices you have plugged in as well. Um, your phone options at the very bottom, the off hook switch and on hook switch to answer, hang up or ignore a phone call, as well as this voice command button which is used for all those different features in the vehicle. All right, Bernadette, now that I'm in the vehicle, we're gonna start by pairing your phone with the Bluetooth. So if you wanna hit menu, and then using the remote touch if you click on phone, and you can use it by pushing down as an enter button or either enter buttons on the side. If you just wanna click the prompt yes to actually pair your phone right now. And then on the phone, we're gonna open up your settings, and then you're gonna turn on your Bluetooth, and then you're gonna wait for Lexus RX to pop up on the phone. Once it's there, if you go ahead and click that for me, it's going to pair up and say connected on the phone as well as self. <clears throat> and then we'll just take a second to load all your contacts in there. Once it's done loading your contacts and everything in there, it'll actually also give you the ability to stream Bluetooth audio as well. And by that, if we just hit media right here, it'll pull whatever the nearest media file is and start playing it for you. You could also use the up and down button on the steering wheel on the left hand side of the steering wheel to cycle through the different stations or the plus and minus to turn up the volume. And you also have those command features right here on the dash as well as volume, preset track, pause and play for the song as well. Um, if we go ahead and go back and open up your phone book to see if all the contacts have paired over yet, you can either do it by menu and clicking phone again, or if you just hit the phone, the off hook switch on the left hand side of the steering wheel to pull up your contacts. All right, it looks like everything's in there now. Uh, I'll show you a couple different things in there. Um, if you wanted to save a favorite, if you just go to the star by the side, by the name that you want to save to your favorites and click on it. And now if you move to favorites, click on that. She'll now be under favorites. If you want to call somebody using the voice command, you'll go ahead and push that button with the waves coming out of the mouth. Once you push that, it'll prompt you to say command after the beep. And I just want you to say call Kevin in your phone book just how it is spelled in your phone book. So if you want to try that for me real quick. Please say a category name. Call Kevin. Call Kevin Huber. Hmm? Please say the list number. Are we calling them right now? Yeah, and you can say number two or you can click on it to uh, enter. And then just so we don't place a phone call, if you go and hit the hang up, the down hook switch to hang up just so we don't disturb whoever we're trying to call to test call. So that's one way of doing it or you can do it manually as well. Um, now we're going to move over to audio technology. Uh, right in here you're going to have a dual USB and auxiliary port to charge or stream your music. You also have your hard set buttons right here, radio media, as well as on your menu, media and radio as well. Uh, if you go ahead and click radio for me down here, it's going to show all your radio stations. It's going to show page one through six. So you have six sets of six stations each, so 36 presets total. If you don't listen to that many radio stations, we can always lower it increments of six if you'd like. So we can have it six, 12, 18, 24, and whatnot, or 30. Um, at the very top, it's going to show you what you're currently listening to. So you're, right now we're on 99.9. .9. 
on FM. You can use this knob to tune whether you're in AM, FM, or satellite to whichever station you like. Once you're on a station that you like, you'll highlight it in the list. So if you wanted 1039 where number one is, you have it highlighted already. So you'll hold any of the enter buttons down for about three seconds and it'll set it in there. Once it's set in there, it's saved as a preset. And you can interchange them all between AM, FM, and satellite. So if you look through here, we have FM, AM, and satellite in here as well. If you want to uh, go to a station by voice, I know you have children, so they must love Radio Disney. So you can actually hit the voice command button and say tune to Radio Disney, and it'll tune in that station for you. So if you want to go ahead and try that out real quick. Please say a category name. Tune to Radio Disney. Tune to Radio Disney. So whenever you're using it for satellite, you can say tune to and then the station's name, or you can say tune to channel and then what, whatever the channel number is. If it's AM or FM, you're just going to want to make sure to mention AM or FM in the text. So you would say tune to AM 550, tune to FM 99.9 so on and so forth. Does that make pretty good sense to you? Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right, since we kind of went over audio technology, uh, now we'll actually move into navigation. So if you go ahead and hit your home button, and right now it's set to your map. So when we're on the map, you can actually click on destination. And then once we're in destination, we have all these different features right here. You can search in many different ways. Destination Assist is a subscription service that you get for free for one year and that uh, is kind of like a concierge service. You just click that and then someone live will come on and then you'll just tell them where you're trying to go and then they'll map you out to that location. If you want to enter an address manually, if you click on address for me and then as long as the state is correct, you'll just want to start with street address. If we start with street address, it'll pre-populate the city at the end. And if you want to enter this address for me, we're just going to do a test address of the dealership. So if you put in 9238, and then OK. And then we're going to do W for West, and then Space, and then it's going to be Bell Road. And it's intuitive too, so every time you enter in a letter, the matches will actually move to a lower uh, number count. And then we can go ahead and click OK. And then we'll just choose Bell. And it always gives you options as well. And that's where the dealership is. And you can mark it to save it to your address book or click Go to start the guidance. And then right now it's saying that the destination is too nearby to navigate to. But normally what it'll say, it'll prompt you three different routes to go through, um, as well as there's a couple different ways on ending the route guidance. So you can either do it by voice by saying delete destination, you can reach your route, or if you go to destination, and then at the very top, delete destination, you can remove it from there. And you, if you just say yes, it'll end that or it'll suspend that current route guidance, but it won't actually delete it from your destinations. Um, you can also reach destinations by hitting menu and then clicking nav at the very top left hand corner. We'll open up that destination screen for you as well, as well as the map. Any questions on that? And then you can also do it by voice too. So if you want to do it by voice, you can go ahead and hit the word. And then after it beeps, It'll, you could just say enter an address. After you say enter an address, it'll prompt you to say out the full address minus the zip code. So if you want to push that for me, I'll kind of do it for you and walk you through the steps and show you how it's done. Please say a category name. Enter an address. Enter an address. Please say the full address. 9238 West Bell Road, Peoria, Arizona. And then I actually said it a little bit too slow, so. Nine, two, three, eight, Southwest Avenue, Bolivar. So if at any time it doesn't understand you or messes Multiple up. Multiple streets were found. Please say the list number. 
you can actually say go back or click on go back. Please say the full address, including the house number, street, and you can say city it in single state, digits as well. Or say the state name only. 9238 West Bell Road, Peoria, Arizona. And it'll take a second for it to think and generate the address. 9238 West Bell Road, Peoria, Arizona. Is this correct? Yes. Yes. And that's how easy it is to enter by voice. Any questions on that? Mm -hmm. All right. And if for any reason the navigation or the voice command system has any problems or trouble understanding uh, how, you, how your speech is or how you pronounce things, we can always program your voice to it by clicking menu right down here and opening up the setup. And then if we go to voice, it's going to be the second page down, train voice, and it'll actually walk you through 10 phrases and prompts. And after each beep, you want, you'll want to read that phrase back to it. And what it's picking up is on how you pronounce your sil syllables and whatnot. Okay. But um, looks like that was all your time for today. Other than that, we more than welcome you to come back as many times as you need to. And uh, you can also find some resources on our website at arrowheadlexus.com or lexus.com as well as Lexus drivers. But, um, and if you ever need any videos, just don't hesitate to call or email me and I'll send you those videos for everything as well. Other than that, you have a wonderful day. It's Bernadette. Thank you.